When you go to New Orleans, you ought to go see the Mardi Gras. When you go to New Orleans, you ought to go see the Mardi Gras. And when you see the Mardi Gras, somebody will tell you what carnival's for. Show you the Zulu king. You will see the Zulu king down on St. Claude and Dumaine. You know you'll see the Zulu king down on St. Claude and Dumaine. And if you stay right there, I'm on see the Zulu king.
to New Orleans You ought to go see the Mardi Gras And when you get down there You're gonna see what carnival's for And when you get down there You might even see the Zulu Queen And when you see the Zulu King Gonna see what carnival's for. sound of musicians playing to a stream. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this out there. It looked like some of y'all are tuning in. This is an odd situation for us to be in, to be playing and to stop and just to hope <laughs> that y'all are checking it out and that y'all are digging it. But I wanted to start tonight, you know, this weekend coming up would normally be the weekend before Mardi Gras and Normally we're in the festivities and already deep in it, and I'd be getting ready to play here at Tipitina's with Galactic, with Anders Osborne. I've already made my Muse's shoes. Yeah, I would, man, my house would be full of glitter from making shoes for Muse's. I do want to send this stream out to my wife, who I love so much. Mardi Gras is her favorite time of year. Carnival season is her favorite she rides in muses every year, and she makes shoes, and our house is full of glitter by now. So she's, she's definitely in a state of, of, of not happiness right now. She's not amused. She's <laughs> <laughs> We've got jokes. So that was a, that was a good one, man. Thank and you. I, thank and you. I caught you, man. Just came to me. Just, Just came to you. Know. And what we like to do with these, you know, we've been playing Tuesday nights at Snug Harbor for a few years while I'm in town. And David and I and James, too, when we, when we have an extra line for a microphone for James, we like to make this almost like a live podcast where, yeah, we're talking and we're playing. But uh, we also like to, 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 you know, play our hearts out but tell you some stories and, and banter. And we're, we're available for live Zooms. Yeah. 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 If you want to have us and private. Ba- live Zooms and bar mitzvahs. Yeah. yeah. If you want to have us for your private Zoom and have us play and tell stories oh, and yeah. make requests, yeah. we're available. Man, are we. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't want to talk too much, man. Uh, but I wanted to start this stream off right because normally we would just be hearing Mardi Gras tunes on the radio on OZ nonstop. And we'd be playing gigs and and getting into the festivities. So wanted to kick this off right since we're in the house that Professor Longhair built. And we wanted to start this with one of his songs and say happy Mardi Gras, happy carnival season to y'all. Happy Mardi Gras. Yes, indeed. We're going to keep playing. Thank y'all for tuning in. And before I go on, if you do want to help us out during this during this time, it is greatly appreciated. My man, Nick Solnick, my engineer, and Brian Santos, helping us with the stream tonight. Nick just put up the the virtual tip jar, and we appreciate any and all contributions. All contributions and donations and support go to needy families at this time. Ours. That's a Johnny Vidakovich quote. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Johnny Vidakovich. Johnny V. Johnny V, who I was thinking about a lot when I was playing that groove on the snare. I was just stealing from Johnny V. And Earl Palmer and Smokey Johnson and Zigaboo Motors. You were honoring their contribution to this culture. Yes. Stealing, we, you know, we're way beyond that, bro. <laughs> All right, this one's on you. Go ahead, Torque.
Thanks, Dad. Yes, indeed. That was our first time playing that song together. And I've always loved that song, and I've always wanted to play that song. And the last line of that song is, my romance doesn't need a thing but you. I'm going to send that out to my wife. <laughs> I'm going to try not to get choked up. Because I, I proposed on Baca Sunday two years ago. And now there's no Mardi Gras. But I know. <laughs> All right. So that one goes out to my lovely wife, Lauren. I love you. Our first time playing that one. But we're going to add that one in. Yeah, let's love it. One let's add that one in. Yeah. All right. James, it's up to you.
the weirdest thing playing in Tipitina's and not hearing the roar of the crowd. It's so weird. It is. I mean, we've all done a lot of streams. This is, I think, maybe not. This is my first time streaming in Tips. And my Pavlovian thing is when I play in here, when the last note, it, there should be a deafening roar. And, well, you know what? I have an idea how we can hear a virtual roar. How's that, David? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Uh, get with the shtick, baby. Pick it up. How is that, David? Well, Stanton Moore at Venmo, whatever it is. Look at that. PayPal at whatever it is. I'm sure that Nick can put it on the screen, but I think it's written in this. Look at you. How did I miss that? The is in sign <laughs> on the front of how, the how did I miss that easy handoff? I don't know, man. I don't know. Man. We haven't done this in a while. Because I was, I was thinking about how when you hit the last note, I dropped a stick. I was like, you know, instead of applause, <laughs> there we go. But I was thinking while you were saying that, that this is our first time playing in Tipitina's as this trio. Is that right? I believe. Is that true? I think it's true. Wow, could that possibly be true? I think so, but well, let me say... it pays to know the owner. Hey, whoever that may be. But I do tell you, it feels amazing yeah, to yeah, play in cool. here. And it sounds incredible. And we can't wait to get people back in here. Yeah. And, you know, just to put this word out there, when we can safely start having seated tables with people staying at their tables and having cocktail service, that's our plan. Start Ooh, doing bougie that. Bougie Tina's. I, bougie Tina's. Well, you know, hey, look, we got to do what we can to yes, survive. Indeed. But yes, but it'll be shows maybe like this, maybe like Ivan Neville solo, maybe John Cleary, maybe Papa Grow, uh, John Papa Grow. Yeah. Different things like this, like where we can utilize this beautiful piano and uh, and do different re visualizations of Tipitina's that will be safe and COVID appropriate. Yeah. So when y'all, uh, people always ask, how can we support tips? When we start announcing shows like that, if you are in town, please help us uh, come and support and those we'll shows. And we'll probably be streaming those shows as well. So whether, even if you're not in town, come be a part of it. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. But did I overhear some scuttlebutt about you guys doing like a King Cake in a Movie type shit? Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. So. We're doing King Cake and a movie. I love that idea. You like it? Whose idea is that? Tell the truth. You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. It, w it it wasn't my idea, but I think it was it was a mixture of like Alex Brawl, Ben Elman, and us all together, um, all brainstorming. We had these brainstorming you see, sessions. You see, I was right. We had an argument about this, but Alex Brawl is useful. He's see? Ah, I was right. You were wrong. He's oh, <laughs> stop that. He's <laughs> incredibly useful. We yes, wouldn't indeed. be in this position if it wasn't for Alex. Ben Elman did a lot of work. Ben Elman contacting the filmmakers. So what it is is Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday. Love it. On Tipitinas TV, we'll, we will be streaming for free. free. We got we got the permission from the filmmakers that are included to show films like All on a Mardi Gras Day, Bayou Maharaja, a few other films and we'll be showing these the schedule is at tipitinas.tv and imagine like during the holidays when you have on christmas movies and they're just playing one after another and you got your family you don't do that some people do though you know what we should do but it'll be like that but for mardi gras and it'll it. be from you tipitinas know, for tv this series it may not be too late let's reach out to josh bagnell and see if we can get that fest that new fest movie included you reach out to him when we're done i'll do that all right Excellent. What's that? All right. All right. All right. Cool. Love it. Love I love it. that idea. King cake in a movie. King Bruh. cake in a That's movie. That's some New Orleans shit right there, man. Yeah. And I think Alex came up with the title, but Ben Elman did a lot of the work on this that one. That Alex so. just keeps surprising me, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. We're going to keep playing. And thank you all for being here. And, you know, since we're talking about Mardi Gras and we're in the house of P Professor Longhair. Come on, now. Let's pay tribute. You know what to do. Yes, indeed.
Amen. Have it Mardi Gras. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Professor Longhead. Man, I remember, except I was on this stage, but just about where you were. And it was the first concert of Professor Longhair's band after he died. You know, Tony DeGrotti and Kaznoff. No, what's his name? Andy Kaslo and Watson. You know, it was the whole band. And the upright piano. And they asked me to play. Bro, I was scared shitless. I, I think the chair should have been empty. And they should just put a spotlight on it. That's my, but I'm a, th I'm a theater person. But the point is, I have very fond memories of that night because it felt like, you know, the spirits were all in the house and stuff. So Yeah. And it still feels like that. Yeah, it really does. And since we're paying homage to Professor Long here, I might as well say we literally start packing up tomorrow the first edition release of Professor Longhair at home. So it was recorded with him and Uganda Roberts. Y'all get a shot of those boxes back Get a there. shot of these boxes yeah, back yeah, here. Yeah, get a shot of them boxes. So we're literally hands-on. I'm showing up tomorrow. I think they got it handled, but I'm going to show up for moral support and for whatever I need to do. Somebody get a shot of the record that I'm putting my crew on the spot. So hey 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 yeah, st Stanton right down D down low down at down your six low. down at your six. Oh, you want me to hold it up? Yeah, of course. So Professor Longhair at home, on vinyl. This is the first release from the Tipitina's Record Club. We're packing them up to ship out tomorrow, and just Google Tipitina's Record Club if you're interested in sub in subscribing. There will be four records a year. This is the first one, and then uh, James Booker. 1978, on this stage live, never before heard by the public. Galactic 25th anniversary, cooling off, coming out in May. And there's also a Radio Ears record called Kung Pao that's never been released, coming out. Wow. And yeah. Where do I sign up, man? I, I actually I actually didn't know anything about this until I saw all the boxes in the floor, and I said, what are all those boxes in the floor? Yeah, it's our, it's our new subscription vinyl club. Tipitina's record club dot com. I mean, well, you get this even if you don't have a turntable, because this is why you go get a turntable. Right. Exactly. Get this first. Yeah. Get the subscription and then get a turntable. And, and honestly, I mean, you know, we, we like to joke, but whatever it takes to keep this cathedral of New Orleans culture open. Yeah. And this is one way you can help by getting some some shit you can't get anywhere else and support Tipitina's at the same time. Right. Subscribe to the record club. Help out Tipitina's TV when you see us doing stuff. Right. Check out King Cake and a Movie. King Cake and a Movie, buy some, Buy some of our merch and then come support shows once we can, what? both right. online and in person. Right, right. All these things. Be one uh, of the Tipitina's family. Yeah. All right. All these things? Well, I just said all these things that we can do to to support. Oh, so, but what a nice I missed, tie in! I missed it, man. I, we, we're just a little rusty. But I'm saying no, that's good though. Let's do it. Right. Let's, but let's do a razor blade version. This goes out to my wife as well. Uh, if you didn't notice, David Torkinowski was doing his tribute to to Alan Toussaint at the beginning of of Big Chief. He was doing a reharmonization that Alan Toussaint would do, where he hinted at Southern Nights at the beginning of Big Chief. So that was coming from Alan. So David was paying tribute to Alan Toussaint. So right now we're going to play an Alan Toussaint composition that was originally sung by by Art Neville. By Art Neville. I was going to say Ivan because Ivan was just here right. and I had Ivan in my head. Uh, but Art Neville sang this originally. It was written by by Alan Toussaint, and it's uh, right now I'm going to dedicate this to my wife, Lauren, and this is called All These Things.
Thank you, Nick Solnick. Thank you for the stream, Nick Solnick, Brian Santos. Thank you for the sound, Tubbs. Yeah, it sounds great. Oh. I've never played in this club where it sounded this good. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I'm not talking, I'm not cracking on anybody. I'm just saying historically, it's been a challenge. But y'all got to figure it out. We're trying. Yeah. We're doing what we can. David Torkanowski on the piano. Ladies and gentlemen, tuning in. James Singleton on the bass. It feels so good to be playing on this stage. It is different than playing in front of a crowd. We can't wait to get back to that. But we do appreciate y'all tuning well, in. We don't have to get. We're here waiting on y'all. <laughs> good point. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Better to be safe than not here. Yep. And thank you all for tuning in. If you can support or contribute, the virtual tip jar is right there in the description. And Nick Solnick is putting it up on the lower thirds. I stream on Wednesday nights from my studio. I usually play along to some records that I've played on. And then I start taking questions. You don't have to be just drummers to tune in. I play some music. We talk about music. We talk a little drums towards the end, but, you know. So this week, I'm coming from here because uh, we did the Commander's Palace Wine and Cheese Zoom earlier. Thank you, Commander's Palace, Thank for you, Commander's Palace. for including us and spreading the word about and Tipper soon, Tina's. very soon, we're going to be streaming from? From? On Wednesday nights. Come on. From you, you know your piano. My uh, house. Yes. Oh yeah, but not on Wednesday nights. Oh sorry. Uh, uh, nights that we choose, maybe Tuesday nights. Tuesday night, because you know it's our snug night. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we're gonna figure it out. But yeah, that's I coming soon. I have a new piano coming, so I can stream from my house as well. So we'll be streaming from there too. Bruh, Lance Lafargue, man. Oh, oh he hooked us me. up. He owes me, bro. Yeah, he hooked <laughs> us up. <laughs> Thank you, Lance Lafargue. Lafargue, of Lafargue Piano. Pianos in Metairie, Louisiana. So, yes, indeed. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. We've been talking a lot. I know we have. but We're excited. But, you know, we're excited. And we feel like we're talking, sharing with you all, even though we can't hear back from you all. Nick, are they tuning in? They're tuned. They're tuned in. Thank you all for all your love and support through all this time, not just to us, but to all musicians and you know, we, we're not going to make it out of this without y'all's support. Oh so man. thank you. Oh, well, yeah, this is a this is a game. This whole thing is a game changer. Oh, yeah. And kudos to everyone for adapting, whether they're artists, musicians, or whether you got three kids at home screaming because, you know, whatever. Kudos to you. You know, it's just a little while longer. Yep. Yeah, we're almost there. Thank you all so much. And, uh, yeah, shout out to Glenn Andrews for showing up, hanging out. Where's Glenn Andrews? He's hanging out. He's All hanging right, out. GD. Yes, indeed. He's hanging. And uh, my man, there he is, still hanging. Is it? Where's his horn? No, 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 Glenn, the drummer. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and pretty soon we're going to be having him sitting in with us. All right, cool running. Yep. Cool. Got to pass it on to the next cats, oh man. Oh, yes. That's what this is all about. Yep. Yes, indeed. All right. The old dudes hanging down, which you are now one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easing into that Shit. territory. I'm easing into that. All right, man. All right. We're gonna we're gonna play one more song for y'all. We so appreciate y'all coming out. We'll see y'all down the line. Thank you. Wanna do that bulldog run? Yeah. So. Not only is our bass player a fantastic, sartorial, splendiferous master, but he's also he a was very... Us, he was using other pronouns before anybody was. <laughs> <laughs> but he is also a very prolific composer. James Singleton, we played one of his songs earlier when we played Bongo Joe. Right now we're going to play one of my favorite songs to play by him. There's, there's like a street beat in six, and it's fun to play. This is called Bulldog Run. I'm going to start this one off.
to get on Yes, indeed. Thank y'all so very much. We're going to bid you good night. David Torkinowski on the piano. James Singleton on the bass. Yours truly, Stanton Moore on the drums and cymbals. We'll see y'all down the line. Thank you so very much for all your support. Good night.